shipping container build part three. Let's see what we got done. I'm not gonna lie, as hard as that looked me trying to get in there by itself, it was still way easier than the first option that I tried to make the wall. So, I'm gonna go inside, set the camera down on this side and let y'all watch me pull it in. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's framed in, but oh, it's not. Let me just show you what we're working with right here. So in this corner right here, this board barely doesn't fit going this way because this board is a little bit too long. So what that means is I got to take back this little bullshit frame I just put up just so I can trim that one little corner down there. So let's go. Just kidding. This shit sucks. But I mean, in actuality, it's really not looking that bad though. It's looking like it's coming together. Past few days have been able to get both of these side walls framed all the way out and all of the top uh, boards or rafters whatever you call them got all of those put in and so now basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to start framing these inner walls i think for the bathroom and the closet this is going to be kind of tricky because this bathroom floor is going to be raised in order to like have room for like the shower p-trap and um, basically just so i can try to make all the plumbing work and come right out that side beam um, I'd really like it to have not any pipes hanging below the conic, so like when I ship it, there's uh, no problem. So that's what we're going to try to do. Also, another little challenge I got. This is going to be a pocket door right here that's going to slide into that wall. So I need to go pick that up, but I might frame a wall or two before I get that door. And then, guys, I don't know if y'all remember, but I talked about getting the double um, French door right here. That way it'll swing out. But anyways... Ended up getting the wrong one, which I knew I was getting the wrong one when I bought it, but I thought I could make it work. Um, anyways, after I got in here and got to looking at it, um, basically it's the wrong door. It's an in swing and I need a French door that swings out and they make them. They're just like $500 more than what mine was and it takes like two months to get it. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and scrap that idea, put a uh, double sliding door in. You still get as much light in, you just can't open up both sides. And it's like $300 cheaper. So um, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I think that's what we're gonna go with. So I just got done laying this floor out and screwing it together and everything just to come and find out that when I put it down, you know, it was hanging about a foot over the tape. I basically built it for a four by four shower, not a four by three. So basically I'm gonna take these two boards off the end, cut it to where I need to be. And then also that changes my whole game plan here because you know, the drain's gonna fall right here and that board's gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna have to move these boards. They're not gonna be evenly spaced. Um, I got some math going on over here and it's all fucked up. So we'll see what we can do.
right, good morning, everyone. So this is where we left off yesterday. I got the whole bathroom floor pretty much in. But anyways, I had to have this door so I knew how big to you know, make this wall when I'm framing it up. So I'm gonna try to knock out the walls around this bathroom today. Then tomorrow, I will probably take out this window, finish up the welds on the outside since the weather's nice again. Same thing with this window or this door, maybe get it installed too. guys welcome back so a lot has changed we have definitely got some walls up all framed in looking great my shower pan finally came in so shout out to that but um for some reason the drain isn't in the center of it which i thought it was so kind of created some problems for me over here but as you can see we got the whole bathroom floor um raised up and everything and the reason i raised it was to so i have enough room underneath for all the plumbing to hopefully work. That's still a little challenge I gotta figure out in my mind, but um, uh, we got some test, some test pieces over here. And so hopefully I can figure that out and uh, hopefully all that uh, goes good. But also put this pocket door in and it was kind of a challenge. Um, we'll see if it works once we actually hang a door in it, but um, I think it's going pretty good right now. Like I said, the shower drain wasn't where it was supposed to be. So this board was actually right in the middle of it. So I had to make some room for it. Don't exactly know where my stuff is gonna run yet, but um, we're definitely gonna figure that out. I did finish getting this window officially fully installed and um, got the window frame around it. And the door is in as well. And she, you know, she actually works pretty good. This was the first door I've hung. And uh, yeah, I mean, just look at the view too. Got the tiny house sitting out there. I really like this door. Yeah, and it even works pretty good too. We'll take this little stopper out. Open her up a little bit, and bam, there goes PJ, back to work. But um, yeah, so still haven't got this back window in. I just, I'm having a hard time cleaning up those welds on the back end, so um, I'll probably get another day or two on that before I actually get this window installed and framed in and everything. But framing wise, you know, I'd say it's like 90% done. Um, I still got some nailers I need to put in, like behind here, that needs a nailer, and it needs, you know, nailers throughout. And like this wall isn't even all the way in, you know, so I gotta fasten it, but it's up so I can kind of just see the shape. Got an electric panel um, hung and I got some wire for it down there. And then we still have this front wall we gotta frame out, but I don't know when I'm actually gonna do that because it's really convenient not having to open up a door, like besides the, you know, the double doors. It's really convenient not have to worry about the glass sliding door. So I don't know when I'm gonna put that in, but for the next video, Oh, it's gonna be a lot of electrical work, a lot of uh, this type of plumbing. Hopefully I get this situation squared out, but I think it's turning out pretty good. So yeah, hopefully next video that window is in down there. Um, hopefully we got the plumbing situation taken care of, and then also start running like hot cold water pipes, some electrical, and yeah, you know, step by step, this thing is just gonna get done. Give you a little outside view of the uh, finished door out here. Oh yeah. It's just looking fantastic. So nice to actually see that door in. And then I know y'all have already seen this other window, but let me just show y'all again one more time how it's looking. It's looking very crisp. I actually got the window open. I need to remember to close that. And then let's go back here and check out the disaster that's going on. So um, 
I was able to do a little bit of cleaning and some of this stuff had rust on it, but my problem that I'm having is I can't get up in there to clean it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna figure it out. And I'll just look at the sunset too. Looking great. Also, I got an update on the goats. They had their babies. Well, one goat had their babies. The other one, we think she's pregnant too, but she's probably probably gonna have one baby. What are y'all doing? Anyways, yeah, two girls, no names yet, but we're gonna figure it out and I'm gonna let you know what we name them. Here come the rest of them now. I ain't got no food for you. No, I ain't got no food. And then we got yellow dog. What are you doing? Hello. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Appreciate everyone that's been watching and keeping up with the journey. Let me know if uh, y'all want to see something that I'm not showing or, uh, or what. But um, like I said, the next video, I don't know when it's going to be. I'm going to try to get a bunch of stuff done for y'all. So until then, I'll see you next time.